Welcome back to another episode of Boys Love Build Up, the show in which we discuss the Eminat Survival Show creating a four member vocal, vocal group. group. Now, Adam. <laughs> now, RJ. How are people watching the show? People are not watching the show. <laughs> um, this is what we've deduced. Um, not that people aren't watching it. People can't watch it. It's difficult. It's difficult. Right. You're going to have to wade through the trenches of the deep web. Or, or wake up at like 10 p.m. Korean Standard Time. Right. 10.10. 10. 10.10. 10. 10. 10. How does that work? Explain it. I need someone to... I'm very serious. I really someone want someone explain. in the comments to explain the Korean broadcasting schedule. Yeah. Because how are there only two commercials in during a... Two hour and 50 minute show and the two commercials happen like right at the end right at the end when there's like there was one i can tell you when they were because i wrote them down <laughs> there was one at 50 minutes in and there was one at an hour and 53 minutes in i don't understand yeah Make who's sense. paying for the show but that's the thing is that because product placement is so prevalent but there wasn't any in the there's show no product placement <sighs> I don't know. I guess when CJ Entertainment also owns everything. It can't be more, there can't be more product placement than Disney's The Haunted Mansion from 2023. Oh, yeah. Honey. I got this pad of paper from CVS. Girl. CVS Pharmacy. How do you feel? We've now seen two episodes. We've seen everybody sing mm-hmm. once. How do you feel about Build Up? It is. They just made for us. This is it, right? <laughs> This is it. This oh might be God. the last survival show this we might ever do. This might be the last survival show we do because it will never top this. It won't. This has everything Even that we want. Even if I don't get who I want in the group. I had a great time the, watching it. I'm, the enjoyment I'm getting. This is the, mm-hmm. I'm not really feeling like my faves has to get in. Genuinely. No, I also have way too many faves for that to I even have too be many humanly faves. possible. Yeah. I have too many faves. I Literally, I can build up three to four Oh, I could, def- I could definitely make four groups. Yeah. For sure. So that's why I'm like, I have to go into this knowing that like my phase will not be chosen because there's only four. Mm-hmm. And I have to be okay with that because I am just enjoying the ride. Okay. Yeah. So I'm warning you now, girls. Do you have a four? Oh. No, I'm going to pick during the show. Okay. Okay. A pad of paper that I did not get from CVS. <laughs> Okay, so this episode, we're really just going to cover the seven performances. We're not going to touch on what happens, what's going to lead into the next episode. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay, so we start with a performance of Shall I Ever, or I'm sorry, Shall I Love You Again? Shall I love you time and again, I I try try to to say. Okay, the members in this one are Song Jong. In Hwan, So Hyung, and Yo Won. Yo Won is, is Pentagon. Pentagon. Do you want to know what, what? You know? Do you want to know? What, He's like decidedly the most famous person there, right? Do you want to know what? Do you want to know what he looks like? Do you want? Do you want to? Do you want to know? Do I want to know what he looks like? Mm-hmm. Is that what you asked me? Oh. Hmm. I thought they were just like doing a weird sp- romanization of one. I didn't realize it's his actual one. Yo one. Yeah. Yo one. So the big story here is that B2B is the Sunbay in Cube. Mm-hmm. So Pentagon, Yo One Sunbay is um Oh, right, right, right. It just felt like you weren't really in the moment. You weren't in the song really feeling it yeah and, and overshadowed by the rest of the this is gonna be a theme this episode is the, the idols the, the the seniors the seniors really grading the freshmen harshly yeah yeah totally they're not getting passes no 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 i think it is because it's so hyper focused on the voice it's like you have to be technically great mm-hmm. and then also emotionally able to convey the songs especially since most of these songs are so ballad 
Mm-hmm. I mean, they say, I mean, they, he's, there's only like, they say it. They're like, I love that the survivor show is all balanced. Yes. There's, no there's only like two shows, I feel like, that, or two songs that aren't ballads. Yeah. Ditto and Dick Lomani. Yeah. Mama Musa. Yeah. Um, first of all, you know what I thought? I thought Inwan was Songo from His Man 2. <gasps> literally. <laughs> I was like, you what? Like, now, what is Miss I, Girl doing? I'm literally like, does he, he sang? <laughs> is he a, was he an idol training? Makeup artist? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. I thought Song Jong was my probably the best one. Mm. He felt the most... You would agree with the judges? I think so. Okay. It felt easiest for him. Because it, it came down Song Jong, In Hwan, Tai. Mm-hmm. And then they had to vote again. Because there were two, two, and then one person. I voted Sa Young. Oh, okay. I thought he was my favorite Mr. in this Girl. performance. He's the musical theater boy. Yes. Yeah. I'm sensing a pattern for you. They do, the musical theater boys do really well in the show. They do really well. They have like very, I mean, they're, they're ballads. Is wh- that is. This is what they do. Mm-hmm. Truly. Right. And every time they show another one, I'm like. Well, I don't know if I would have liked any of the musical theater boys in like Ditto. Ditto. Yeah. Right. But I think that's why these. But these I have my songs own issues here. with Ditto, so we'll talk about that in a second. This song is so early '90s. It is. There's this one, and then the one the that Tinkly. Yes, and then our beloved Minook sings later. That are yes. like two like these are Peebo Bryson songs. Girl. Yes, honey. these are Brian and McKnight. Yes, and we need to bring it back. Well, I, we, we need to bring it back. Talking I, about it's it. so crazy that we just the at R&B. least at least. American pop music mm-hmm. just fully has walked away from like contemporary adult music. I know. And I don't understand why. Yeah. Because that's where you get the voices. Yeah. I, you don't get them in regular, regular pop girl. Mm-mm. Dua Lipa may have an incredible voice. Absolutely. Who knows? Yeah. She's not going to be displaying it on her disco. On future pop. nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah. Right. As. Ariana gets older. Uh-huh. We need a lane open for her to, sl- to slide, slide into. into. Absolutely. We can't just lose Ariana's voice. Ari- Ariana. Ariana. Ariana's, Ariana. Vo- Ariana's voice. Yeah. We can't lose that. Yeah. So the next song is Ditto. Mm-hmm. This is Umuti, Jonung, Sokwa, and... Soomin. Jung Soomin. So Jung Soomin. Which I think is his whole... Name. His, I think it's ho- his whole like singer songwriter name is oh, Jung Soo Min. Yeah, because a lot of the a lot of the ball- a lot of the singer songwriter ballad girls go by it, like a full name. Yeah, yeah. Jung Soo Min appears. He's wearing this beanie. We're like, oh, cool guy, cool guy, cool guy. And he started introducing himself in English because I knew there were moments where like Bane is speaking in English a lot, Jay speaking in English a lot. I think the person next to them. Who is Su Min is probably American. Mm-hmm. That's from the first episode. The vibes. The vibes. It was the vibes that I was going. And he speaks and he goes, Hello, I'm 19 years old singer, songwriter Jung Su Min from Chicago. And Adam and I scream like ran out. Literally it was, it, ran it, was, it was definitely not a normal reaction. No, However, no. if you've ever met someone who has lived in Chicago, that is the reaction people when you in hear Chicago, sp- have about people, people from, Chicago. from Chicago. We ran out of our apartment and then started screaming down um, the street. The street. Jung Soo Min is from Chicago. Yeah. And we started a parade. It we, was we, just yeah. Like, we start. It's it, it was, was just, just like, like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> <laughs> just ended up in a parade. <laughs> I was gonna say it was like when the Cubs won. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that too. We, all of a sudden, people were cheering on yeah, the streets. Fireworks. Fireworks. I mean, we were all the city singing. support. Yes, taking the it city to the ball game. Proudly behind. Absolutely. Now, Mayor Brandon Johnson came out. He gave and us the, gave key, to us the, the key to the city for us to give for to us Jung to give Soo to Jung Soo Min so, when we go to Korea. Jung Soo Min. So Jung Soo Min, congratulations! congratulations. We declared it you're was more than Jung welcome. Soo If you want to be day. interviewed by us, we're more than happy to have oh you as God. local. We can talk about Pequods. We can talk about Pequods. We can talk, we about, can talk about, about. Oh my God! <laughs> well, he's probably not from Chicago. He's probably. Do we think he's from a suburb? It's probably Oak Park. It's giving Oak Park a little bit. <sighs> I think it's like a rich southern. So west this is the sub- thing, though. This is the thing. This southern. is okay. This is. But maybe it's northern because it could be. I mean, he's Asian, it, and there are a lot of Asian. He could people that live. 
in a northern I'm burb. not participating in that conversation. <laughs> if you can still take the Metro to the city, we're very proud of you. Yes. I still wouldn't say I'm from Chicago. I'm say I'm from Chicago area. Mm. But that's just me because as people, someone who's not from Chicago originally. Right. Okay. That's true. We're so I can't even We are that's expats. not my that's not my Yeah. They have more claim to Chicago to than fight. we do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. He's from Chicago, blah blah blah. Okay. Why do we... So, Umuti's story is like, he's like, I've been in multiple been survival sure. shows. I I'm get half so an idol close. Because I'm known, but I have, to have not debuted. Mm -hmm. And he does these dance shots. It's very emotional. He definitely has the storyline in this yeah. package. Um, there is a bit of like, they go head to head, Jung Soo Min and Umuti. To, to get, sing the... Ooh -hoo -hoo. And to so sing the only vocal part of the song... Yeah. I think they do a good job of making it work, but I agree. The song doesn't really fit. The song does not fit at all. In the song. No. In this challenge. In this show? In the show. Yeah. Even though and Ditto's is probably one of my favorite New Jeans oh. of all time. D New Jeans release a flop challenge. How about that? <laughs> because they haven't. They're going to keep failing. Uh. Um Like, even the, the fact that even their Coca-Cola song is good is I actually know. And gross. And it's not like great no but it's i th i throw my ass to it yeah <laughs> Coca -Cola Mashita. um i think that, okay i understand why this song is on the show mm -hmm. they're pulling they want to pull a, a big reach of an audience they mm -hmm. want to have different genres represented and i've obviously pop songs do have vocals it's not yeah. like nobody's singing totally i do feel like decalum decalamani decala cards Decalamani? Decalamani, yeah. I do feel that Decalamani is like a better, the Mama Moo song is a better vocal yes. pop moment. Also because it's a Mama Moo song, it's built for like, right. this is singing. I would probably, in general, um, steer clear of Hybe pop songs. I would maybe stay in the like, maybe SM side of the world. Mm-hmm for stuff like that do you know what i'm saying with that yeah i'm getting yeah i'm just, seeing what you're putting it or I just, like a 17 song or a 17 song i may i don't know if i agree with that but yeah i just think certain like, 17 songs that have more for sure and of course like every presence. group has specific like yeah but the challenge is like where they what, just stand and sing if it's supposed to be a mission where it's like four equal singers equal four and it's your first time here, in front of the judges there are gonna be people here that will if it's a song like this, then it'll be only one or two people can have a good vocal part. Okay. And Sumin was like, I'm not worried. So No, he wasn't. He literally was like, go ahead. No, you can sing. And he sounds great. Yeah, because the song is... He is... He has a fully... That singer-songwriter, like, voice. pop... Like... Absolutely. Poothy Unique. Almost. Poothy. That's like just more Sheeran. This is more Sheeran than Poothy. His voice, I guess. It, I mean, I, a little I, bit I guess more. we've seen Sheeran live, so I should know. But ask me if I remember anything from that concert. I do not. No, no criticism to Ed Sheeran. We got those tickets for free, and I was just like, me and forty-year-old women are absolutely and six, living, and fourteen-year-old women. Yeah, so like a K-pop concert. <laughs> So their whole thing with Umuti, Umuti gets top tier, and their whole thing is like, even though it's a group challenge, you stood out. Mm -hmm. But in a good way. See, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. It's always a risk in group challenges mm -hmm. when you want to try and stand out if you're if it's gonna and be a good thing. And I agree there. I agree with their I do agree. I do think though, like from the song, I think Jung does the best. Even though I think Sumin, kind of like Hai Hyun, um, in the first episode, it's like it just felt so easy also. Mm -hmm. But I, I felt like Jung was um a little bit more in the song, in the performance. Mm. I picked Jung Soo Min. <laughs> okay. Because I think he's the only person that should have chosen this song. Uh, yeah. His, Honestly, it was so, per it was like perfectly yes. attuned to what to his what skill his set style, is. That his I was, style of singing. Yes. Specifically. That I was like, this is amazing. This Truly? feels so right. It feels like literally when a guy, like when a somebody, a guy covers a song a girl song yeah, that's yeah. what it felt like yeah like when he was singing it i was like oh you did this on your youtube channel that's right. the energy it was yes. giving me in like a good way not like yeah. in a shitty way ditto for me unfortunately gave me 
college acapella group vibes. It did, did it? And not in the fun, pitch perfect way, but in yeah. the in the way you know I'm you know what I'm saying when I say that. Or it's like, hey, it's show choir, and we're gonna perform like a current pop song to be like, we're hip. Yeah. And it's like, I don't want you to be hip. I don't want you to be hip. I want to hear. A, I want to hear. I want to hear the voice. Yeah. I'm obviously we're not mad that Umuti is top tier. I think he in no. Let me be very clear because sometimes, girls, sometimes the girlies, the girlies don't understand are what I'm like, saying. Well, you didn't mention this, so that means you hate them, bitch. I <laughs> girl, no. I want Umuti to walk to the finish line and debut yeah, in this group. Yeah, absolutely. I have no uh, girl. But we can also be. But <laughs> at the same time, we can also be. I, yes, I I think. That one of the skills in a survival show is having enough, like removing yourself and looking down from below yeah. and assessing the whole situation and being yeah. like, is this the best song for me to pick? Yeah. Because it's not like he didn't have options. He wasn't the last person on the list. So yeah. he didn't, you know what I mean? I don't think this was like a great choice no. for like three of those members. I think. Obviously, it worked out. Not for because it was a bad number, but, but just no. because I was like, it doesn't show off anything show off about any, you. Yeah, it's a completely sorry forgettable performance. Yeah, and I wasn't like super wowed by anybody, and the even the judges were like, I don't know why they're doing the song. Yeah, and uh, and like mostly, I'm putting this on Mnet because like you were the one who set the S- ten songs. Yeah. Um, so somebody was going to do them. But like, if you had other options, I would have chosen the other options. Right. And I don't know if they thought maybe we'll also be like doing a little bit of choreo. So at least we know that. And like, we'll be, but they, they're not allowed. No, they're not. They're just, that's not what's down. happening. Yeah. Yeah. That being said, Umuti does give like a fun, I think he fits the vibe of the song the best. Yes. I think him and, Yeah. He's like having a good. He's time. having a good time. Yeah. He's having fun. Yeah, which I think that's that's the standout that drew the judges to him. It's oh, like, totally. oh, you're you're enjoying this. Next is Tomboy, not Tomboy, not Tomboy by G Idol. Tomboy like a nine like a rock pop a uh, rock pop, ballad a rock ballad. rock ballad. Okay. Oh, oh. was this the one you cried at? Girl, there were so many that I cried at. I normally I'm the one who is losing it. I was crying. you like every. It, I, I think, think it's pr- from tomboy on out. You start crying every time. I got emotional. I mean, yeah. The rest of the songs. Oof. So Juanji, <sighs> these are the members: mm-hmm. Juanji, Inhyuk, Jui, and uh, Guangsok. Yes, Guangsok was my one of my picks. That's that he's P- he's the he's, one he's PO one from the from the self vote the original self vote yeah. yes because he had like the most unique voice that everyone had heard yeah he's like a eight foot tall model who also yeah. sings why do people have it all it it would be like if if Te, like his voice does remind me of Taehyung Te- oh Taehyung yes 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 because it's so. But Dark. just, yes, but just focused on, like, singing. If Taeyong yes. was a singer-songwriter. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. An actual sergeant. <laughs> in, yes, in is that Hwanji? I think that's Hwanji. Um, Balladeer group. Yeah, it, they literally were like, I serve. This is why he's been wearing a I serve in the music thing. battalion. Right. Okay. Slay. Pop off. Pop off. I always forget that they have that in the military. Yes. Like the band. I truly always forget that. Yeah. Do you want to talk about how you saw God during this performance? I don't know what came over me. It was shocking. I was like, this was when you were like, is this the most Filipino survival show? (laughs) And I said, yes. It's definitely the, first of all, it's definitely the most like karaoke survival show. Absolutely. That's the thing. All of these songs, like you would sing at karaoke and like sing your guts out, you Mm -hmm. know, pop rock. Mm-hmm. There is also that added, like, raw, gritty sound to the song that... I hope you put in a picture of gritty right when you said gritty. <laughs> like, the Philippines love a rock ballad. I mean, we... It's a Filipino that took over for Journey. So, it be- it kind of became, like, cultural that, like, 
We love these songs. What was I just watching? I think the current... I don't know this. You can cut this out if I'm wrong. Sure. Nike, Nike. I think the current Jane Seymour in Six on Broadway... Is Is she? Yeah. Okay, because I just saw a clip. She's from Orlando. Girl, because I watched this clip and her voice was incredible. And then I was like, I want to hear the beginning part again because she goes like... she. She jumps like two and a half octaves. Yeah. Like it's psycho. Oh, in Heart of Stone? Yes, in Heart of Stone. So I was like listening to her. I was like, she sounds great. And then I was looking at her face and I was like, no, I've seen I know that face. nose. I know that, <laughs> I know that knows. nose. The nose knows. And I was like, I bet she's Filipino. And then I truly had a moment to myself where I was like, I wonder if there's been an academic like research into why like there are so genuinely so many singers. Filipino good singers. Yeah. Like why it's such a cultural thing for people to, to want, want to, to be sing. good yeah. singers. Yeah. Men and women. Yeah. This is sounds just crazy coming the- from a white person. Yes. I thought it was very interesting. Anyway, this song is fuck I That's not they're what we're literally <laughs> they are literally belting the shit out of this. And there's just Also, just, can I say it is such an incredible flex for Guang Sa- Guangsa who could Basically, at that point, after the first round of evaluations, and they were like, you have the most unique voice, you have the mm-hmm. best voice, blah, blah, blah. He could have done anything. He could have d- picked any song he wanted. He did. He did. And then he probably could have gotten in that group and been like, I want the best part. Yeah. And all of them were like, I'm really anxious to sing this part D because it's just an ah vowel. And, and he, he was, was like, like, I think I should do it because my because voice my can voice carry is it. so unique that yeah. I think it'll sound cool. And because then that's such a crazy flex. because the judges were like, we really thought you weren't going to sing because like it took so long for the D part to mm-hmm. get in the song. And it ends that verse. Basically. And then you were just singing the O's and O's and we're like, oh, that's interesting. And then when he gets to the actual meat of the song and Girl. he's like belting, Girl. the judges will lose it. I mean, it's like such They're a like, where did you come from? It's Who are completely you? it's fully aware of like what his talent yes. is, but also not being precious about it and being like but i have to be the one who's the main point of the song because if you know that you have that gift you can just make yourself the main point of the song even if you're not the main point of the song he does not win top tier Mm -mm. but i think this probably of all 10 groups it was the most like you could have given it to any of them and i would have been like absolutely yes absolutely i've been happy top tier here was jewie who was jewie the mangne yes He's like the, yes, because they were all at the he's end. He's Golden he, Church Oppa. He's Golden Church Oppa, is what um, Solar said. And at the end, they were like, do you guys all want to s- congratulate him? And all of them were like, yeah, your your youngs love you, basically. Yeah. <laughs> all of your youngs love you. And he, it was so cute. I mean, it's, it's such a good, I mean, mm-hmm. genuinely, it is such a good performance. All four of them are just hitting it yeah. so hard. Their harmonies when they start stacking are like mm-hmm. this was the it, one like gives the tingles. This was the one when they were picking. Dewey goes up to Inhyuk and was like, "Were you on? I can see your voice. I you're the reason why I wanted to start singing because mm-hmm. I saw you sing." And so he joins this group for him, mm-hmm. and like they all, he basically like helps him. Yeah, because he's he's a mangne, so it's like, oh, make sure you're listening, make sure you're doing this thing that. Yeah, he's a musical actor, <sighs> Dewey. He like he said, I've been a musical actor for zero years. So <laughs> I he debuted just started, zero yeah. years ago. Yeah. It's amazing. It's genuinely incredible. Yeah. Okay, let's go to something like that. Uyibin. Minok, our beloved. Jae Kyung. Uh, Jae Kyung. And, oh, Tae Hwan mm-hmm. from Vanner. Mm-hmm. And then Jae Kyung. This was giving 90s tea. Honey. This was tease. This was this was but I want last cry. What's the people song at the end of um that movie? Baby. Baby. First of all, people did too. People came back for a oh, second check. Oh, people came check. back for a second check. Yeah, wow, yeah. good for people. Pebo and Celine people and Celine famously yeah. sing Beauty and the Beast. Certain mm-hmm. as the sun. And then people in as the sun. Was it Polka? Polka. No, no, it's not Polka. It's I don't know who the girl is, but he sings with someone and they do a whole new world. Oh. A whole new world. 
with new horizons to pursue. <laughs> That's not a lyric. That's not in the song. With new horizons to pursue, honey. <laughs> You said Minook is going to wear a sweater vest the entire I think show, Minook is and I wear really a hope vest the whole show. First yeah. of all, if you don't know, Minook was Minook on a is, show was on a show called Boys Voice, Boys Voice, Voice it's- <laughs> which is a YouTube show where they were trying to find four voice actors, voice actors for this like anime. It was version. BL Manhua. right? It's just a webtoon, so you like hear the voices. I guess while yeah, you're it's not even it. animated, was it? It was just while it's you were just, yeah, yeah, fine. We watched the show, we watched the show for our Patreon. Our Patreon, so we so we were familiar with his talent, talent, his voice. Okay, here's what's crazy. First of all, I had such a crush on him on Boys Voice. Absolutely, he was the cutest. He's the cutest person alive. Yeah. Okay, he is in a group called New, New Kid. Kid. And we did not touch on this in Boy's Voice at all. They did not even bring it up. They didn't up. even bring it up. Because they, sh- they showcased him being a musical actor more yes. than anything. He, We find out in this that he they debuted in COVID and have never even all met or performed together. What are we doing? And I want to be a little bit like, baby, I think no one told you, but your group is disbanded. Because yeah. like... We, it's 2024 it's, and I'm not trying to be shady, but yeah. like people are out here doing, people are meeting, people are out here on these streets. Yeah. They're getting together. They're doing performances, yeah. you know, it's not 2020, 2020, 2021 anymore. We got to get you guys at least one song out there. What's I going on? I don't know who on? their management is, but like what's going on? That is so shitty. Um, this is the song where I thought the performance was a little bland in the first half. Yeah, I like agree. it was like good. I, I and was like, I was oh, like, this is gonna be a slow start. It's great. I was like, Where's this it's going? Fine. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, and then they all just start squelting, <laughs> and I was like, and by the end, moved. I know. That's what I'm saying. I was I was in tears for pre- once it unleashed in the in tomboy. I was like, I think it's downhill from here. Yeah, Taehwan from Vanner and Minook get kind of like good compliments mm-hmm. from the judges. I felt like Uibin. I didn't think they were wrong in that they were saying like when you get in when he got into it later, it's like oh now you're here, right? Yeah, but yeah. at the first it was a little. Where are we? What are yes, we doing? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I do I mean it's hard because the song has a very sparse start. Yeah. So I think that's it's intimidating obviously. If you're a singer, you're if you're not if it starts subdued, you have to give it just the same amount of energy as you will when it gets to the like yeah. higher octane part. Octane that's parts. Uh, honestly sometimes that's even harder. Yeah. It's to like keep that energy but Fine. like yes. not release all it. Like keep it contained. Yeah. Keep yeah. the lid on it. Yeah. Find other metaphors for Find other metaphors. <laughs> I um, think Minok was was the right person to give a top cheer to. Okay, I don't. You thought it was Taiwan? I thought it was Taiwan. I was Maybe I'm clouded because he's a beloved, but I felt I don't think he I of course I thought he did an incredible job. Yeah, yeah. I felt that he had he had the little bit he like had the squint in his eye, like the little shimmer in his eye that I think caught the judges of like there's something like He's yearning for some from this, like it's coming through in the song. Yes, he also I think did the best job of the four of them in doing the like keeping the lid on it at the beginning. But you can tell there's so much ready to come out. Yeah, Yeah. I I just thought I think something that helped him was that nobody knew who the fuck he was. Yeah, whereas like. They just People this know, whole thing. Taehwan was like, "Oh, Taehwan you just want just peak won time, peak time." And he was like, "I'm here because I really love singing and I want to keep singing." <laughs> yeah, totally valid. Yeah, yeah. amazing. They d- it's good though. It's yeah. a really good performance. So yeah, they chose Minook. Congrats, they chose Minook. Congrats, one of our Diva. berets. One of our berets. Now we get to breathe by Faith. Breath. <laughs> 
Well, it's later the same day. 13 hours later. We have Breath, which is apparently everybody was like, this is the hardest song. Don't this, do it. This is the hardest song. Everyone knows this song because it's this so is. synonymous to the person singing it. It's like they can't unhear. You can't, yeah. It's like very rare people do covers of it. It's Celine's. Period. Just any Celine. What is your ultimate Celine? I mean, it's so boring. My heart will go on. It is my heart will go on. I mean, I don't think if anyone else sang that song, it would be as... Iconic. Iconic. Yeah. Mine, I think, is It's All Coming Back to Me Now. It's all coming back. It's, it's it has beats back to like me. it's an 11 oh, it o'clock number. It too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like quiet, and then all of a sudden you get a rush of like... Like, it's almost like it's... It's, it's like coming, coming back, back to, to her. her, like, now. Yeah. Breath is Junhyo Karam, Insong, and Hwani. Our beloved Hwani. Our Hwani, beloved Hwani from Uptension, Boys and Planet, Planet. Being an icon, being a legend. Being June's best friends. Yeah. Yeah. So, right away, it's like two idol singers, right? We have Insong from Can K, Kaniki. Sure. Peace Lightning. A, gr- a group I've truly never heard of. No. And I don't mean that in a disparaging, disparaging way, way. It's just, just in a- not in the zeitgeist of your life. So we've got those two. And then Haram and what's the other person? Oh, are you wearing your Zhang Hao earrings I yes. today? Now I am. In this morning, I was not. Mm. Jun Hyuk is a producer, like a music producer, essentially. Mm. Singer, songwriter, producer, mm-hmm. Nim. And then Haram is a musical theater actor mm-hmm. who moonlights, <laughs> who who came in through being a classic pianist. Right. So the these two right away are like, okay, so let's, you know, let's build the third and the fourth and, yes. and build a triad chord and triad. And, re- and just they were just going off. Um, and there was one moment where they're like, well, do you guys feel comfortable? They were asking the two idol singers, like, mm-hmm. do you guys feel comfortable singing the harmonies or the melodies? And they were both like, um, it, probably the melody, just like sticking to melody, I think is like where we feel comfortable. Yeah. And like, I mean, asking it, it's like asking a tenor, do you feel comfortable singing harmony? No. No. They don't. <laughs> they don't. I hate to tell you. You did TTBB. I did TTBB because I was in a men's choir. I was T1. We, yeah, yeah we mo- I guess we mostly did melodies. You were in a men's choir. Hmm, interesting. This doll diva. The do- <laughs> <laughs> if I told you right now <laughs> that the energy you're exuding today with the hair pushed up. Oh. And the and the earrings. Is it giving and the and the hoodie. Am I giving Lesbury? It's a little envy moment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm so pumped from the gym to to the. Yeah, I have my compression shirt on under this. <laughs> <laughs> As you shake the hair that's not there. <laughs> so we are talking about breath today. Breath here, this perform. So you rewatched so it. So they were like, and yeah. you were crying. I was crying. So they, the whole thing was like, nobody wants to sing the song, right? They all do a really kill good job. This song. Yes. What I noticed about the song, I think, what makes it hard, it's very spread out. Mm-hmm. They're holding a lot of notes. It's very, it's slow, but not like it's not like a dirge. But it's like, do you know what I mean? That you have to keep the energy elongated as yes, much as Yes, and there's a lot of possible. long pining like, waiting, like verse ends and there's like just eight like, beats to the next <sighs> start of the next line. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of pausing. Yeah. To reflect. And the it the instrumentation is just it's just a piano it's just track. Just a piano. It's giving rehearsal tracks, girl. It's giving, rehearsal it's, track, giving but it's also giving like the saddest Oh yeah. Like movie. I mean, it's Adele. It's a. It's like it's not nineteen. It's twenty one. It's Josh Groban, <laughs> and that it, it's giving a little Josh Groban. This show is. I'm shocked Josh Groban was not the sixth. I can't uh, believe he's not judge. the yeah not the guest judge. Yeah, maybe for future. Josh Groban's not my name. Who did you live for? 
Who are you living Who for? Who was I living for? Because I, I picked First my... of all... All of them. All of them. They, they, Genuinely, well this struck. group, all of them. They are, The criticism that they get, it's splitting hairs. Yeah. It's very just like, at this very specific moment, it seemed like you were giving too much away. And I'm like... Yeah. No. No, I was. I matter. ate this up. I cried when I watched it. Mm-hmm. Um... I really liked Haram. I think he does a really he good does job a really in this. Good job. I love Wani's voice, and I'm so mad—not <clears throat> mad, but in Boys Planet, they didn't get to show off in no. that way. And his voice is so this. warm and rich. Totally, it's like truly decadent. Yeah. It's great. He's such a good singer. Yeah. I chose Insult. <gasps> I did too. Which is crazy his, because he is does his, not have a showy part. In no, song. but his bridge f- was giving Donghun, wasn't it? Like his bridge, emotional, emotional bridge. Emotional. Do you know bridge. what it actually was for me though? It was him taking the high harmony mm-hmm. with Huani. With Huani, it sounded so. so it was flossing my ear, yeah. like it was like so perfect. Yeah, the tone was right. The the breath control was there. Mm-hmm. It wasn't strained. Mm-hmm. It was like, and like we have like made a little joke about being like the idol singers aren't like singers, but like that's singing. That's, that yeah. is quality. It's smart that they stack the two of them they together, did. so they're like like voices. Yes. They kind of sound similar. That's I what just I, I think, think the. I'm sorry. I like his outfit the best. He did. He looked re- he looked really good. He looks like a he looks like, like a, the lead in a drama. He looks like a lead in the drama. And I, was, I was just here a hundred percent for it. It's so funny. This is now the second episode in a row where we're where we're we're going for like the tall, very leading man member of a group. And so now all the is can- anyone shocked? All the Kaniki stands now are going to be like, you have to listen to this, 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 and this, and this. It was just we didn't even just. Dis- we didn't even discuss how all of the A stands came oh. out of the woodwork last oh. week to be like, girls, you don't Moths even know. to a flame. Moths to a flame. They My were like, God. Stan Donglin. And you know what? We will now. And we will. But it was just so shocking. It was so also, many. Also, these amount of people who were like, honestly, their covers are better than their original songs, which is really, you know what? If you know your truth, yeah. speak it. Um, I just thought that was very funny. Yeah. I, I, also, I also liked Jun Hyuk. He gets like the he most gets the criticism, criticism for this group, but it's it really shows that he did a lot of the work to help build. I think he did the a group. lot of the work to help build it. Blah blah blah. blah. The harmonies, I do agree yeah. with their criticism, but I just felt overall, I I this really nailed it for me. It did. But again, I don't know the original, and that's true. So I think there is a level for like there. us it inter inter fans. Mm-hmm. Um, as Mark Packin would say. Hi, Interfans. Hi, Interfans. How are you today? Yeah. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Mark. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Sorry, hi, Mark. <laughs> um, so I don't have that. I don't yeah. have that. Yeah. So I can just go in cold and it's fine for and me. And it sounds great, yeah. They don't really say, they do say like it doesn't, they so, did their own They thing. did their own interpretation. Yeah. Which I think for any of these... If you're singing that's, an iconic song, that's the you way have you have to. to go. Yeah. You have to. But who is T, 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 top tier? Top tier. Haram. Haram is top tier. They go Which, for the for the mangne of the group. Yeah. He was the one that was like, I debuted in musical theater zero years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. They subtitled that way. <laughs> yeah. It was cute. Next is Dekalamani. By Mama Moo. Okay, Mama Moo. So she's there. She's there. Solar is there. She's Solar like, Bitch. is staring you dead in the face. Yeah. And one of the singers. And they know she's going to be a judge, right? No, they all find. They find they, out when they walk out. When they're oh. all coming out one at a time. Oh. So I'm sure there was. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They found out that day. Yes. Okay. So there's one member of this group, Deco Amani, who I'm sure was shitting his bricks the entire time he realized Solar's Miss Girl is a, is a y- Miss Yanu. Yanu is an RBW trainee. He is a trainee in Mama Moose Agency. You know what's And she even says 
Is that the name? No, it is. Okay. I just, I wrote, I did not take great notes this time. <laughs> I am going to do better next week. But I was like, oh, I'll remember. You'll never I'll remember. definitely remember. No. I also thought we were going to record a little bit closer to the first time we watched it. It's fine. Blah, blah, blah. Schedule. But I did not, The my biggest mistake with this, for, especially the first round, is I just wrote their names and then did not write like a descriptor, a descriptor. for each of them. So I was just like, oh yeah, I'll remember these four Korean <laughs> Solar was like, yes, we assess them. Yeah, they do their monthly check-ins. We do their monthly check-ins. And they were like, oh, so, Yona, do you have a fun story about Solar somebody? And he was like, yes, the first time she ever assessed me, she says, what are you doing here? Or yeah. to that effect. It was like, like it was you're not, not good. good. You're not good at this. And she was, and everyone was like, no, no, no. Um, but his whole thing is that, like, He's a trainee. This is his first time ever performing live. That's not in a little room in front of, you know, a, a table of producers. Where do you stand on this? Like, should he be on the show? In this, yes. Because there are, he is one of, he is, I think, three or three four. Three or four trainees. Trainees, yeah. He seems so cold. It's kind of, you know what, it's, it's kind of giving Gure in a, a little bit, but like, but he's definitely it's not leading. underbaked. It's not underbaked. There is talent there. It's, it's definitely nerves. It's just nerves. It's and totally like nerves. Being and unfortunately, it gets the he better. is fully set up with him picking the song, having the oh, part he yes. has, and also her being being there. a judge. I know. Yeah. So it's a little, it's a little bummer in that regard. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he's bad. No. And even, I don't, I agree with some of their criticisms of right. him. Because he, he did. He gave up. He, he flubbed a line. He flubbed a line. And then he like clearly wilted. Yeah. But I think in the back half of the song, I think he came back a bit. Yes. I don't think it was full 100%. I, but I, yeah. Definitely that first verse, he, he ends it and he practically throws it away. Yeah. And it sucks. Because... And that's the I hard totally understand their criticism of being like, you have to just keep going. And that's you not can't something you can learn in a studio or whatever. Oh, you no. just have to The experience. only way you learn it is by is having by it happen to you. Yep. That's truly the only way you can do it. Yeah. Um, I've had but nightmares. But that being said, I totally see why it happened. I mean, yeah. like, I remember when we did, you. when we in college, when we did, when I was 12th night, I had that really long monologue where everybody's like moving around the set. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was so, it's such a long monologue. Yeah. And I was so anxious that I was going to get it wrong mm -hmm. because I feel like with Shakespeare, I would learn, you would learn like the rhythm of yes. it. Yes. And so once I got into the rhythm, you I was just, like, da -da 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 -da. you just get in like a zone. Totally. And then if, if all of a sudden you get shifted Ooh. out, it's like... And I knew that if I shifted out, I was not going to... I can't I? come back into the middle. Yeah. I would have to like go back and be like, excuse me, sorry. And Is that it? was like what it... Like the closest I've ever been to being... And like every night, because we were like kind of a three-quarter thrust mm -hmm. or whatever. And so I would like be on the aisle next to an audience. And we like played with yes, the audience in that the show. Audience, yeah. And so I was so cognizant of being like, if I fuck up, I'm, there is no way for me to... It's going to be so clear. Yeah. There, There's no way to not make it clear. Mm. That was what I was thinking. Okay. That's what it reminded me of. It is kind of crazy to think about now that, like, we did... That I did a... Like, I did a Shakespeare... That was the only Shakespeare I've ever done. And to this day, I still think was that, like, was like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you weren't in Measure for Measure. It felt so daunting. And we did it. It felt like... A, it was a lot... It was a... It was a she lot. was a big show. She was a big show. She's a big show. Mm -hmm. It's funny that you talk about this monologue because from, you, from Twelfth from Night. From Twelfth Night, okay. Because you literally have done a ninety-person one-man show. Yes. But at least with that, but if you forgot things, no one knows but you. And also that show, I could just skip to the next paragraph. That's true. You're and like, who well, would who would know? Yeah, nobody. Yeah. Um. I'll put a clip of it right here. That's Adam performing a one man show. <laughs> one man show for 90 minutes. For 90 minutes. Hor this truly, genuinely the scariest thing I've ever done. Yeah. I actually, the only thing that could be scary is if I like swam with octopi. <laughs> that would be truly, that would take, take, take the metal, take the. Berets, let us know in the comments below, how much would you pay 
to see a video I would of never Adam do it. meeting an octopus. I would never do it. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I will never. I'm genuinely so afraid of octopi. I will never do it. Octopuses? Ooh, octopusher. Octopusher. <laughs> anyway, who else is in this <laughs> number? Okay, Bitsayon. Bitsayon. Who I think maybe has about. like my favorite outfit of the whole day. Oh, yeah. I think, I think so it's too. so cute. Yeah. And like his like permed hair, it's yeah. good. Yeah. Yanu, trainee. Trainee. Suhuan. And. Sonyol. Yes. Sonyol is from... Sonyol is from Uptension. He's the main villain of Uptension. Uptension. Okay. Suhan is a, the one in the crop jacket. Yes. It needs to be and a little longer. They were like, it's a little too short. I don't remember what his backstory was. <laughs> he was a former Produce 101 contestant. Oh. Uh, Jae Hwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. So, similar to... Ditto. Ditto, in that it is a... First of all, it's, it's a, a... girl pop song. It's a girl pop song. I will but say though, Mama Moo songs, songs are vocal, vocal songs. forward. Yes, and I'm so happy they did the scoop. That is iconic, Mama oh. Moo. It's the and Christina. Also, like mm. Mama Moo, in a lot of their songs, stacks their harmonies in, yes, in a because they have all four parts, basically. right? But they do it in like that Motown style. Yeah, it's like Motown reminiscent. It's not exactly so, Motown, obviously, but it's is that is so. What is it? What does she say to me? <laughs> You, you have soul so, in your voice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's a good song. It's a great song. It's a great song, and it has a quite a range for them to play yes. with because it has the like building rising in the in the beginning, and then the choruses and the bridges are very like yeah like stacked Motown. Hits. Here's my issue: they make top tier Suhan. He's great. He's great. I thought it should have been Sonyo. That's. I think he fit I, the song. I agree. Sounded great. I agree. And then even in all of the backstage thing, he was taking care of um, Yuan the I entire agree. time. The thing is, is like, Suwon did a great job truly taking nothing away from him. Yeah. I liked this performance a lot. It yeah. was not my favorite of the day. It was not going to move me to tears, but it's not a song that's supposed it's to move me to tears. It's supposed to. It's supposed to just like, pa- you know. Power. Power. Yeah. Voice. I just, I'm a, I am quibble a little bit with making someone who's basically half of their performance was a rap. Ooh, this and is, I, yes. And very, I, yes. I get it. And it's not like you can't not do the not rap. Do like, the it would rap. be crazy Moonbeal to is skip in this it. group. She right. rap. She's like, the rapper. She's an icon. She's a legend. Yes. She is the moment now. Come on now. She's, but She's a sapphic this is legend. A sh- <laughs> this is a show... Mm-hmm. About building a vocal group, a vocal group. Yeah. But then it's like, should they have picked a a different song that has less rap? Obviously, you know? they're gonna pick a Mama Moo song because to. she's there. She's there. Also, RBW probably was like, you have if you're you, gonna use Solar, you're gonna pick a Mama Moo song. song. I hate to tell you, yeah. and you're and taking you're also one taking of one loaners. of our loners. <laughs> yeah, that was my only thing really with the song. I thought it was good. I had a good time. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed myself. I think my biggest question yeah for rbw specifically okay when the fuck is nxc debuting i have been watching them since last year they have done trailers for their individual personas already when the fuck are they debuting give me my beloved hiroto and my man kang dehyun and jamin and And jamin and jamin is it because NXS debuted? So they're like, it's, who? Isn't that? Oh, NWS. NW. TWS. We got to come up with. We got to figure have to stop it. Doing we got to stop letters. Doing letters. Letters, no, letters are done. done. Letters done. are so over. I am only okay with word. I am only okay with letters if it's letters of representing the syllables in Korean. Bang tan son yon dan. BTS. Cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wish Sonia was top tier. I thought he was great. I thought he was really good. I had a yeah. I thought so that was, was really my good. biggest my biggest uh, regret from this. Regrets. Last one. This is not crush, which I wrote down. This is beautiful. Gosh. Could you imagine? <laughs> but a vocal version. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Life. 
I've heard the song be yep. like a TikTok song because it's an OST. It's like a oh, famous OST. Oh, that's why I know it. It's I beautiful some, life. I thought it for some reason I was like another song. Or it sounds like another song that oh, yeah. also is. Because it sounds like, it's a beautiful life. What is that? Um, dun, 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 it's a beautiful life. Oh. It's a beautiful day. That one? I'm I'm a commentator on pop culture. Pop culture. I think it's important to remember that. Okay, who's here? Teu. Teu. She's one of my girls. Oh, he I was circle one of these. That's crazy. Min saw. Min saw. He looks like a young Dex. That's his whole thing. He says, "I am a Dex lookalike." Yun saw. Yun saw. And Sang Hyun. So Min saw is also a trainee. Min Sa and Yoon Sa. Yoon Sa is also another trainee for Mystic Story. Okay, Miss Billy. Oh. When he said he's a Mystic Story trainee, that's what he meant. But he was a former Yewa trainee because his whole thing was like, I See, trained maybe I think everyone. Maybe I think maybe, maybe Bean can <laughs> set off the, the fireworks. fireworks. Maybe it's that these entertainment companies need to be letters. Because Mystic Story is a great band, band name. It's a group name. I'm saying we're we we need to swap. We need to do a little okay, swap. Okay, okay. Santa sure. Claus Entertainment. Make a group called Santa say, Claus. Oh, Santa Claus Amida. Make a group called Santa Claus. Yeah. And your every comeback is Christmas. Every you come back once a year. Once a year. It's December. Yes. And, and you release Christmas all themed. of your merch on a Burr month. Ho ho ho. Anyang say yo Santa Claus Amida. Ho ho is very funny. Sang Hyun. Is the one who was a producer. Is a producer. And who Jae Hwan was like, girl, that's my producer right there. Yeah, for one of his songs, for one of his One of his albums. songs, for one of his albums. Yeah. And another, another song in another album. So what happens now? Another song <laughs> in another <laughs> album. So what happens And his now? whole thing is that like, I... I was pretty, I'm pretty much dead set on becoming a producer, but this show gave me an opportunity to be like, well, maybe I still want to sing. Mm -hmm. So I love Teo's voice so much. I don't there know if this is the right song for this voice, but it was just enough that it was just, it enough. was just it enough could that not it, have been the whole song. No, that it helped color layer. Yep. The performance. He's obviously from the unique group. Unique. He, I think, it's so interesting because his, there are times when he does, I'm just looking, I have a picket of Tere up there, so I'm literally just looking at, could you imagine, by the way, sorry, how good Tere would be on the show? I'm so sorry. Ugh. I'm glad he's not doing it because he means they're booked and blessed, so they don't have time if to he be didn't, doing this, but my I God. think he would have, I think he would have been in the show if he didn't make it to DB1. <gasps> Do you think? I think so. Wake One would have sent him? Yeah. Wake One didn't send anybody. They would have ended his contract and then he would have gotten signed by someone else and then that per and then that it's gonna be a J situation. That's how I felt. <laughs> I'm mad about a situation that doesn't even act exist in reality. <laughs> I just got so angry about At what Wake RJ one. just said. You're now you're gonna tweet. I'm Wake gonna one, send a truck you? to Wake One about something that literally <laughs> never happened. Something that seems to be happening a lot lately. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was great. Who's I your... also was moved by this not moved to tears, but I was moved. Um I thought it was very beautiful. But who's your TGT top tier? T T T so the show's was Sang Hyun. Yes. Because I think he was the most stable, lived in, just solidly in the song. Yes. And I think he, the trainees do a really good job. I did, they're definitely the strongest trainees of all the, what, three, four, three four trainees four. in the yes. show? Yeah. The trainee who was in Yewa, his whole story was that he trained with Zero Base One members in Yewa, didn't debut with them, or didn't go to the show with them, so... He feels kind of, he felt very jealous and um, that, you know, his time would have been up or whatever. I had a hard time picking my favorite for this one. I did too. Because I felt like they were all pretty even. Yeah. No one stood out. 
in almost like a good way. Yeah. Like I was like, oh, they blend so well together. Mm-hmm. Like there's such a cohesive moment that I'm not like, it's not the Umuti thing where it's like, oh, it's Umuti song and the history backup yes, singers. Yeah. So I don't know. I pi- I agreed with Sung Hyun. I did too. Especially because I know he did the most work, I think outside of yeah. the performance itself. Um, I think with like helping the boys arrange yes. the rest of the song. Da, yeah. da, da, da. So I think that's what I picked. But I wasn't, it, it, I did not, I was not moved it was the safe, strongly. It was the safe pick. I think so, yeah. Because I think I, I I would have voted the same way too. Yeah. I would have had to pick between him and Teu, though. Teu has this thing, I I got distracted by Tere. Teu has this thing where his voice is so unique mm-hmm. that when he sings and he straight tones, mm-hmm. which he doesn't really have a brado, so when he straight tones... Sometimes I'm like, oh, is it good? Is it shaky? Or is it just interesting? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And this is not a read, I no. swear to God. Yeah. But I can't tell. It's like the a very natural tone of voice that you're like, do you I can't wa- learn this. No. You cannot you're learn like, how to sing I like this. Do I want to touch that voice to like make it better? Or do right. I want to leave it in its, in its p- raw. raw, pure yeah. yeah so that's why i think i think he, if he had a different song, if he was in the rock song oh my god yeah i understand if he was in we Tom should Boy. want some variety but i would want one where it's like him and guang sok and like i don't know neon and someone else who has more of a rock energy Give the, um even jay suits. can sometimes do that oh, like yeah, gut, totally. that growly like yeah. thing that would be fun yeah. it's ve- i will say it's very hard this is the first show where so many of the songs are, they're all, all a specific type of song. So it's hard to differentiate them. So in my mind, I've started remember. like blending them and we had seven songs this week. So I was like, wait, and like, which only one two was which? Balance, yeah. And I don't, I don't, I don't speak, speak Korean, Korean. So I can't be like, oh, this is that one. This is the other one. Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to do next? Do you want to just say our top, f- our, our current buildups? Do you want to pick a best, your favorite number? Let me do this. Let me say what the interim top four is. <gasps> oh, yes. Interim top four is currently J is number one, Dongun is number two, Umuti is three, and Sungun is four. Would you stand? Okay, this is like a genuine question. Yeah. I, one pact is just starting. Yeah. And I don't want, you both don't want anything to interrupt that growth process. Yes, totally. But also, like, it's not not an opportunity for more people to be interested in one mm-hmm. pact to help it grow, too. Yes. So it's like weighing yes. the two options. Yes, totally. You're really, like, balancing the scales. Yes, a true Libra moment. Yeah. She's the scales? Yes. Girl. Right? Okay. I agree. So it's hard. It's hard. But I think it's different with Ace and CIX because they're established. Yes. Like, I think yeah. it can be cl- it can be clear what this group will do. But I have a feeling this. But here's the thing. But also, I this, want to hear uh, Jay singing. I know. Uh, I want I him to sing. This group, this group will run circles that are different from their current groups. They're gonna do gigs that totally. are not that one packed CIX are not doing. Right. And it's not like it's gonna take rehearsal time for No, this. it's literally just gonna be like, okay, learn your songs. They're gonna okay, go right? on Mnet for like a week. They're gonna go to the music shows for yes. a week and just park and bark and then yeah. be done. Because sometimes these ballads like win a lot of awards. Yeah, because the, famously see, Korea eats ballads yeah. for breakfast. And so do we. If bitch. it's not trot, it's ballads. Yeah. And then a v- very large gap to K pop. <laughs> <laughs> Four people singing ballads for like two hours. I'm sitting VIP. I'm I'm And you I'm know what? It's not the, even I'm gonna be a concert greet. venue. It's gonna be full like It's gonna be an auditorium hall. It's literally an evening with build Yes. Up. Yes. And I am seated. And you know what? Because that's what it is, mm-hmm. guess what? I, I am seated. I'm sitting I at this concert actually and it's going to be great. And I'm going to be sitting, I'm going to go. And I'm going to be clapping. Clapping. 
maybe a woo here and there, but like during the song, silence, silence. just listening. It's literally, it's literally gonna <gasps> be, it's gonna be Adele in Vegas. It's just like everyone is sitting. It is just these four and a piano oh. on stage. Oh. <laughs> Come to America, they never will, I swear to God. But please, please, please. That whole list of like the first 10 is like, throw any of them together and I'm watching. The only thing I'm worried about is in that 10, there was only like one like musical theater ballad person. It's a lot of idols, obviously, because it's just popularity. It's popularity. People figure it out. Blah, 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 blah. So we'll wait and see how the next interims go. If some of the people who got top tier do better. It's hard to watch the show. And it's hard to watch a show. And I think that's, I do think that's on purpose. People are, mm, they want the stands to stay away. They want the stands to, they want to control the amount of stands that are just voting for. for. This is not a show that is for stands. Yeah. I mean, really, in yeah. honest, in honesty. Yeah. This is not, it's not a concept-based show in any way. They're not no. giving performances. That, I mean, they're performing, but it's, it's different. Yeah. It is for like the technique. Yeah. It is to celebrate the the art that is like singing. Yeah. Not what's the package of K-pop, right. right? So I think that's a little why they're like trying to like have it be mm-hmm. Oh, if you catch the you know, if you if you wake up at 7, you get to watch you can it, see him. but of these to- of these first 10 Who's your favorite performance? From these seven plus last week's three. Tomboy. Wow. Wow. Okay. Judging from my tears alone, Mm -hmm. Tomboy. Tomboy or Don't Go, Don't Go from the first episode. Don't Go, Don't Go for me. And there were really good ones in here too. Like Breath, I think, is my second. Yeah. But yeah, Don't Go, Don't Go. I watched it. I made people at work watch it. (gasps) That's how that's how I was like You want normies to watch it? That's how you know you have transcended. I made my front desk girlies watch it. Yeah. And I and she was like, Oh. When he like went up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is it time to build Who's up? In, it's time to build up. Mama, it's time to build. We never build down, we only build up. Yes. Only build up. Mm-hmm. Who's in your four? Okay. This is going to be so hard. Please this don't send gonna, us hate mail. We can't pick everybody. We can't pick every. There are four in 40. Do you hear me right now, Berets? There are four. And there are 40 people. There are. And there are at least eight beloveds. <laughs> Personal beloveds. Yeah. In our lore. Yeah. Okay. What is your criteria? Just based on this first week? I'm just picking based on this first okay. week. Our first challenge, I should say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Donglin for Mace. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm really nervous. We're going to have the same four. Okay, keep going. Guan Sok. Okay. K. Great. We won't have the same four. J. Mm-hmm. I hate that he went first because literally it's... It's it's really tough to challenge that staying power against 39 other voices after. Because mm-hmm. it's like, there's so many amazing voices. Je- I mean, Jen, I know it's, I know we're being repetitive, but like, it is, you can just, sh- it's shooting fish in a barrel yeah. to pick four out of this yeah. group. Like, anyone, there's so many. <sighs> okay. I'm going to give it to Minok, our BL beloved. Mm-hmm. I think his story, this narrative is so good. He debuted in a group that never debuted. And Hello. he has that voice. He does. And I think by putting him in uh, in the show to try different songs, and then also it possibly in a group, mm-hmm. I think it would just, I could, it could make him a star. I really wanted to also pick Sunyol from Abtension. Mm-hmm. I also really want to pick someone from CIX. Yep. And then... Um, so you've got people on deck. Yes. And then um, In Song from k k Yeah. Those are like my reserves. Uh-huh. Well, I might as well pick a fourth one. I'm going to pick Ganu. That is my reserve group 
right there. Great. Dongan currently is my PO1. Is your PO1? One. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I have a PO1 yet because I think it's so fluctuating. <laughs> this is the hardest. I hate this. This is I so hard. I genuinely hate hard. this. Four people. Four. Dongan mm-hmm. is my PO1. J is number two. I I know that he has a voice that sounds like a lot of American artists. Mm -hmm. And it's clearly he is, he draws inspiration from like Justin Bieber, Bruno Mars, that energy. Yeah. It's not surprising at all. You want to sing him, but he. You want him to do more of a ballad. No, 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 not even that. I just, I think it's, his voice sounds so different comparatively to all the other like Korean singers. And I will say he does a good job of making his, him singing in one pack is different from him singing in Rockstar, And it's different from him singing here. Totally. Totally. Totally That's, agree. That, that is, That's versi- I mean, you want to talk is, about Marcel Versace versatility. Marcel Versace. <laughs> Icon Mother Legend. Michelle Versage. Michelle Versage. Okay, so you have those are two people that you've picked. <laughs> I know. Oh my god. I'm gonna make so many people mad. Okay. I'm picking <laughs> Jayup. <gasps> yes! From Don't, from go, don't, don't go. go, Don't Go. Mm-hmm. Because that is I mean, that's crazy. That yeah. That's crazy. So I want you to think about the voices that I've picked, okay, right? Okay, okay, okay. They are not, they are all individual voices. I think they would go to well together. But I do think I'm trying to pull one from kind of each lane, mm-hmm. right? You're going to pick Now, maybe. You're, okay, let me guess. You're either going to pick Suman, you're gonna, either going to pick Umuti, or you're going to pick, um, or Hyun. Hyun. I mean, Hyun's on the reserve bench for sure. Yeah. For sure. I'm picking, I am picking Jung Soo-min. Now it is, it's not not the Chicago thing. Let me wave my little Chicago flag. I don't think I have one. Jung Soo-min is going to be the sixth star on the Chicago flag. I I heard, I just heard Jung Soo-min got booked for Pride. <laughs> Chicago Pride this year. So it's like King. Um, Jung Soo is performing at the Salt Shed, actually. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's the Morton Salt oh. stage. And they have a stage they there. Have, they made a fest- they have made a concert venue there at the old factory. Yeah, Salt Girl. I think his voice is I, Clark. They're changing Clark Street to be honorary Jung Soo Minway. Huh. <laughs> they. Um, <sighs> I like his voice. Oh, yeah. I like his... I kind of really like his energy. Yeah. I like... I want to see him and Jay hang out. I do, too. Yeah. I just... There's something there. There's something there that I'm, like, I latched on to really yes. quickly. It's um, honestly... I mean, I picked it as a thumbnail. It's when he was like, yeah, why don't you sing it? <laughs> yeah. I think also, like, he... He just, uh... He has a... He just sounds like a singer-songwriter. Yeah. I think he's like the only one that truly has that like specific. I want to hear him on an acoustic guitar mm-hmm. energy. Mm-hmm. You know who should be on the show? Kim Tere. Stop it. Adam, I was thinking this in the entire time we were watching Beautiful. I know. I was like, Dabit would have been so good in this. Dabit. Dabit would have been so Dabit, good. Dabit, reach out to us because we let's have a talk about management. That's all I'm going to say. There's no, just I think we need to <laughs> discuss. We would love to do it, but then again, we don't speak Korean. No, it would be very hard for us to negotiate your wage, yes, your pay. Or, you know, get you books. books. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one channel that will always book you, girl. And oh. that's the Ampliverse. Honey, you can have take, your own come damn take show. my spot. <laughs> honestly, at least you could speak it. Um, wow, and that's build up. But I have like Umuti, absolutely. Ganu, I'm Sung-an. very happy about the Umuti third placement uh, right now. Taewon, yeah, Hwani. I have so many people on deck. Hyun, 
Hayunu. Yeah. So many people on deck. Basically, the entire Don't Go, Don't Go group is on deck. Yeah. Yeah. If none of them make it, I think on deck. If none of Don't Go, Don't Go make it to the finals, we're living you, in we're a living simulation. In hell. But you could easily just book that group. Just like go to your in, all of their individual agencies and be like, I want to make a group out of these four people. Or even just like, can we just work out a contract that they sing this one song? Can we just release an, a damn OST? One damn for song. And we can split it four ways or whatever. But my God. Yeah. yeah. And then there's that fucking musical theater boy, the church opa. Church opa. What was so, it? Yep. Jewy. Jewy. Jewy, he's on deck. I mean, I'm going to be eating for the next. We said at the top of this episode. we say 10 weeks? Yeah. 10 episodes? 10 episodes. We said at the top of this episode, this might be the. It might not get any better than this for us. Every other we one. We might call it quits after the show. You never know. Anything could happen. Guys. Unless they do Boys Planet 2. Which I don't think they will anytime soon. No, because they'd have to do. They, have to they do would have to do it a year from now. Maybe we just do. <laughs> maybe they just they. It's this spot on the Mnet. It's the January. Maybe. It's the top of the year. Mnet New Year, show. new boy group. All right, let's sing it. Sing us out, Adam. Beautiful life, beautiful day. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. We've also seen him because he opened for Ed yeah, Sheeran. That was crazy. I saw her face in a crowded place. I don't know why. Unique. Unique. He'd be unique for sure. Yeah. That's what you are. James Blunt? Very no. Good. Really? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> The Ampliverse.